Hello everyone, how is everyone? Hope you're all well. Uh, not done a video for a bit, I've had a bit of a nightmare with uh, with my phone. I do all my recording on a, on a mobile phone. Not the greatest setup in the world, um, but it is what it is. Uh, it was overheating and switching itself off. Like every so often I just hold it in my hand and I could feel it getting super, super hot. Uh, and then just turning itself off, on, off, on. Uh, I tried to make a couple of videos and it just was having none of it. Either it would cut off halfway through or the worst ones it would let me get all the way through. I press like stop on the video and then it freezes, it didn't save. So when you've done a long video and it does that after a couple of times you just think sod it. Um, so new phone now, uh, I'm not sure if it's the, it, it's not improved, I, I don't do expensive phones. Uh, the more expensive the phone the quicker I tend to break them. So cheap and cheerful, that's what I've got. Anyway, uh, take, take this as a test and we'll see if the volume's alright, if the pitch is alright. Uh, you know. Anyway, pickups video today. Uh, I have been, uh, I've got a push bike now, I've been out round and about um, trying to get to different shops and things like that, um, trying to avoid public transport for a while. Um, one for the Covid reason and the other just for me on general health really, trying to get out, be more active, you know. Now how it goes. So, I have managed to get a couple of pickups, although some of the new shops I've been to is I understand where you guys are coming from there, where you say there's absolutely nothing or it's overpriced. Because some of the ones I've been into, you walk in and it's like, really, you want like six quid a game? Or, you know, one was 15 quid for a record? No, that's not a charity shop. Anyway, right, uh, I have, let's get on with it. It's, I've got one GameCube game. Uh, I know I'm going more for the set for this, uh, but I don't know why I didn't, tend to, didn't pick up any more recently. Uh, and that is Worms Blast. Uh, this is sort of like a Buster Move, but with worms. And I do like the mechanic in this that uh, the uh, bit that divides the two screens between player one and player two has a gap in it and it moves up and down. So when you get pair ups, instead of it dropping it automatically down to the other side, you have to time it and shoot it through this gap to, to get them. Um, very happy to have the collection. Do love worms. Love the artwork of this one. Uh, but I'm colourblind, so we'll have to see whether it's actually playable or not. Although it does seem like a very fun game. Uh, quickly blast through these. I only got these yesterday, so um, it's mostly um, there's some Spectrum, Commodore 64, and a couple of uh, ZX81 games in here. Start off with the Commodore 64. We've got Paratroopers. I can't talk much about this game because. Uh, well, I'll, I'll stop at a couple that the reason why I bought them. Um, the rest of them, they were just really good offer. So, games I've not played before, so I might as well pick them up. Give them a try. Uh, Trooper Truck. That one kind of looks like um, Moon Patrol, I think. But it looks very similar on the cover anyway. Uh, this was an odd one. I had to grab this one. Potty Painter in the Jungle. Can you see where the painter is in that? There's, there's a gorilla, there's the people at the bottom, and right here by my finger, there's a teddy bear with a rolling brush. Really makes no sense, this cover whatsoever. But I love it. Um, Trash Man. I again see people buy this one all the time. I think it was a sequel as well. Um, from what I've seen, it's kind of like a Paperboy game. Um, Ground Force. Again, no idea. It was cheap. Going to give it a go. This one here, I had to pick this one up because uh, I've had this game forever, but it's been missing the game. So I've got the case, but not the game. Um, it is a text adventure, so, you know, me being dyslexic, I'm not really going to be playing it. But it's nice to have it back in the collection, and that's uh, Adventure of Planet of Death. So, yeah, that's very happy to finally get a complete copy of that one back in the collection. Um, Ten points if you can get, guess what this one's a clone of. Uh, yeah, it's Leapfrog, and the reason why I've got this one is because it's a 16k game. Uh, I love ones that say, j like, just 16k. I do tend to pick them up as and when I can. Um, Fighting Warrior. 
Not a clue. Um, these ones look like some fun, like space shooter, arcade star games. Um, Galaxy Attack. Yeah, have fun loading some of these up. It's amazing though, isn't it, that even though I've got, as like quite a lot of people have, uh, SD card solutions for most of the systems that I own. I still like buying the physical copies um, of the tape games anyway. They're nice and cheap. I mean, I wouldn't be doing it with like the NES or the Super Nintendo or stuff like that or Mega Drive because they are getting up there in price. Uh, Androids. Not sure. Maybe a Berserk clone. Never know. Um... Don't know why I picked this one up. I've, I've no nostalgia for the show. I have no nostalgia for the game. Um, again, it just was cheap. Full guy. So we'll have to play that one and see. Uh, and again, another one. Bought it just purely because it was connection to a TV show. Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, this one does look like quite a nice little um, platform game. So I'll definitely be in that one to go. Um, everyone's been talking about this game now because... The Spectrum Next reached its um, 1.5 million uh, stretch goal. Uh, and everyone was like, oh, it's, it's going to be head over heels games because it said you're going to be head over heels with like the, this um, stretch goal. But I've actually never played head over heels, the original game. Uh, it's an isometric game. Um, never been the biggest fan of these style of games. But with everyone talking about it, I might as well finally give it a go. See what everyone's raving about. Uh, this next game here is, I got this one because I have a copy of this on the Philips G7000. Uh, and it's a really good sort of like Space Invaders and, and Galaxian clone kind of thing. But it's its own game as well. Uh, and that's Terra Hawks. Um, I love that when you get shot, you can run across to the bases um, that protect you and jump into them as another ship. So, yeah, looking forward to that because the um, GX4001 has so got some really good speech in it. So, I wonder if it's uh, transferred over to that. Um, again, no written, don't know why I bought this one. Uh, the Hit Squad. Just looked interesting, looked cheap. Uh, Gills, 2 99 I will be leaving that sticker on there. I do love seeing like stickers from random shops. You'd be surprised if you look at some of the stickers. On games like some of these old um, cassette games, what shops actually used to sell them? I mean, I've seen ones from petrol stations, from um, local news agents, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Do you like my racing games? And this one looked quite interesting, if not a little bit weird color palette. Pro Go Kart Simulator, and that's also for the Spectrum. So, looking forward to giving that one a go. Uh, ZX81 games now. Uh, I've always liked this one for the artwork. I've seen it come up a few times and missed it, and I finally got it. Uh, and that's Fantasy Games on the ZX81. It's just some really, really nice artwork on that. And not so much good artwork, but I do need it because there's a set of these. Uh, and it's Catacombs. And this is a graphics text adventure. Kind of one thing the uh, ZX81 is good for. Uh, and yeah, ultimate player of the game, dead or alive, or is it good fights, whichever one it is. I have wanted this one for a while. It's sort of like a western shooter. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. Whenever this one comes up for sale, it seems to get snapped up pretty quickly. And last one in this little box. Um, it's one for my uh, small box collection, although I think I'm definitely going to slow down that because these things are building up down here. Uh, I've got no room left on this shelf. I've got no room anywhere else unless I put another shelf up in here. So, not the most organised collector, as you know. Um, Castle Master uh, on the ZX Spectrum. From what I've seen, this is sort of like a bit of a dungeon corridor, I think. Um, but it's like th early 3D graphics on the Spectrum. The problem with these is it may be a great game, but it runs at like three frames a second. So, we'll, we'll see anyway. Maybe good. Oh, another one before I forget about this one. Um, I, I did say I was going to make a separate review on this. Um, and I still may do it. But this just want to give a quick thought of my, my view of this um, cartridge. And it's the Super 64 
for under 40 quid right this is a, a flash cart as you can see is in the side there I know you can take this out and write your own games to it it's amazing that's if you want a very quick review go and buy one I highly recommend it if you haven't got the money for the um, EverDrive and stuff like that which I am sure they've got a hell of a lot more functions and you could do more with it if you just want to plug and play cheap and cheerful you know what I mean every game that I've played so far works fine although I have been told that um, Animal Crossing and I think a Pokemon game don't run right or don't run at all because this doesn't have an internal clock in it so obviously you got you need to turn off your uh, your game it doesn't do the time events and everything else like that so but I mean I was playing um, Snowball Kids 2 on it I was playing Conker's Bad Fur Day uh, I was playing Mario Kart du um, not Double Dash just the Mario Kart 64 game N not a single game didn't load uh, and, and it ran perfectly from what I could see I mean, when you get into the whole minute thing all oh, the better graphics and everything I'm playing it on a CRT TV I am just plugging it in to play it's great go and get it if if you are looking for something like this i highly highly recommend it if you want me to do more of a review re review get my words out on this let me know and i will do but yeah that's it that's a very 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 good very good little cartridge that is for the price um right what we've got else in this box of goodies i picked up a, cons a retro console for my daughter Holly. Uh, she's just turned 10 and she's really enjoying her sort of retro games. She's very much a Switch girl, but when I saw this, I had to get it for her. And it is the Pink Slim PS2. I um, don't know if it's a Super Slim or the Slim, whatever. Um, the thing is, people tell me the difference in them, and I always forget. It looks slim to me. <laughs> uh, Really, really, really good price. Comes with the pink memory card and the pink pad. So for Holly, that is just something nice that she can have, and it's hers, nobody else's. So let's put that down there before I drop it. And for anyone saying, "Oh, you guess you bought it for yourself," do you know what? If I did, it's a cool-looking colour. You okay, know. But my PlayStation 2 has got a screen, uh, which I have noticed I tried to put the screen on that one. And the pink PlayStation Slim doesn't have the screw holes in the back of it to put the screen on the back. Very odd. Um, right, a couple of charity shop pickups here. Go through these pretty quickly. Uh, Racer game, I know it's quite a cheap game, but I, I think I picked it for less than a quid. Um, RC Revenge Pro. Uh, for the PlayStation 2, um, it's basically RC racing, nothing special about it, uh, it is complete with the manual, but I like these kind of obscure racing games, games that probably slipped under the radar and nobody really talks about today, um, you can find some really good ones, um, Crash Twin Sanity, never played this one before, I uh, played quite a lot of the, the Crash games, but I've never got a chance to play this one. Uh, and obviously, it's you, you, you're teaming up, and it's just a whole new adventure for Crash Bandicoot. They're trying to prolong the series, which is still going strong to this day. Um, lemmings and Oh No More Lemmings for the PlayStation 1. Uh, I can play Lemmings on most things, but I just I really, really like this. Um, from what I've seen, it's the standard Lemmings game, but it's got a really good like intro and some good music and everything else. So, to have it on the PlayStation One again, this I think was um, that's completely manual. This was Cash. No, we've got a place called Deal Maker, which used to be Cash Converters, and they changed over to Deal Maker because I think it was more of a franchise thing. So, the people bought the shop out outright and changed the name. It's essentially cash converters, apart from they don't have the horrible stickers that you can never get off the games. Uh, this was a charity shop, and it's always nice to find a Mega Drive game in the wild. And I actually like a tennis game. Not played this one before. I know people can say, oh, tennis games are tennis game, but 
they all tend to play slightly differently. Uh, either the speed that your character moves at, um, the way they hit the ball back and everything else. It's uh, Some try to go for more cartoony style, some try for more realistic style. Um, so yeah, looking forward to giving that one a go. And again, it is complete with the manual. Um, a couple of bits here now picked up from Unit 3 Collectibles in Wolverhampton. And trim it. This one, <laughs> you can bless that. Uh, Spectrum game. I'll just put it over there and pretend I knew how to read the title. Uh, oh, um, Burnout 2 again on the PlayStation 2. Love the Burnout games. Um, between 2 and 3, I'm not sure exactly which one's my favourite. Uh, I think I'm going to have to play them both again. Because I, I tend to get a bit mixed up with which one was which, but all the Burnout games are good games. They really are. Especially on the PlayStation 2. Just a masterpiece of game that they really were. And I picked up the Game Killer for the Commodore 64. Uh, I've done a little bit of research on this, and I thought it was like a cheap um, cartridge, which technically it is, but it doesn't give you like infinite lives or infinite ammo or stuff like that. Um, you put this in the back, and there's a little button on the side, and if you press the button, it activates it, um, and it will stop all collisions, all sprite collisions. Uh, if you switch it back off again, obviously it turns it off, but if you switch it on whilst holding up, it just takes off. Uh, collisions between the enemies and if you switch it and hold down it switches off the collisions for the background um, so basically the only way I can see this being beneficial or if not, not boring really um, is if you're stuck completely stuck on a level you can't get past put it in press it scroll to the end go to the next level switch it off and try that level because otherwise what what's the point what is the point in turning off all hit detection on sprites and everything that's not a game you might as well just like not bother <laughs> so yeah it's interesting I love the artwork and I, I think when you put the cartridge in it's got a really good like um, intro like soundtrack using the SID chip on this so I think that's probably the best thing of it so yeah that's that one and oh a couple more ZX81 games here Night Gunner, I absolutely I love the artwork on this Night Gunner game. And um, from what I've seen on the um, screenshots and little videos of this, it's a really nice like little shooting game. Like you, you are a gunner on a, on a plane shooting in other planes. I know there's a port on the pla um, PlayStation. PlayStation on the brain. There is a port on the Spectrum as well. Um, but the ZX81 has got far better artwork on the case. Um, and this is Galaxians and Sword of Peace. Uh, it's a double game on the ZX81 again. Uh, one is an arcade game and the other one is a text adventure. Bit of an odd mix, I think, on a, um, on a tape, but hey ho. Right, and now something that I've actually purchased and I'm very, very happy that I did is uh, I like my Game Boy SP. And for ages, I've looked around for a um, Game Boy SP 101. Um, my fr friend Gareth was um, was selling one, and he asked me first, would you like it? Give me a really good deal on it. Um, although the game we have in here at the moment isn't a game. Uh, kids were watching SpongeBob. But the screen quality of that compared to... Oh, I keep doing that. It's not even switched on the high setting yet. It's not showing up very well on the on the camera unfortunately but take my word for it the one on one screen it's like the kids watching spongebob <laughs> these are such terrible cartoons but i can imagine back in the day having like four episodes of spongebob square pants being able to play on my game boy uh would have been amazing so yeah that's my my uh it's a bit scuffed up so I'm going to reshell this one, and I'm also going to get a really nice, like, hard case for it as well. I'm going to make this my Game Boy. Um, uh, you also added in a 32-in-1 Game Boy multi-cart. I just love how light these are, but almost nothing inside them. But yeah, that's I'm very grateful for that. Uh, and he's also sent me 
the GameCube Swiss disc and a memory card with an SD adapter in so I can plug these in, get it all set up and everything else and have all the GameCube games so I haven't got to take them off the shelf um, all on an SD card. There is another solution, instead of going into the front there's a port underneath that you can put it in. Um, so yeah, I have to mess around with that and see what I can do. Uh, it comes with an official charger as well. And a nice little bonus in there, which I was not expecting, and mate, I'm very grateful for this. Um, I've got, as you can see over here, these game cubes, and they're all different colours. Um, the silver one, I did not have a pad for, so Gareth has sent me down one, completely for free. Uh, so now I have a matching pad for every GameCube I have. My Spice Orange one is the one that I'd use all the time, which is hooked up in the bedroom. Um, so it might be very, very grateful. It's really nice condition as well. Um, not like my original one, which has seen better days. But all the wear on my original pad is where that I've done to it. I bought it new. Um, I have to change the stick on it soon. <laughs> Definitely well used. So yeah, that's um, that's my pickups, my recent pickups. Uh, I'm trying to blast through them quickly because video seems to drag on for a little bit now. Uh, again, highly, highly recommend this if you just want to play. Uh, I know people say it might uh, destroy your console and stuff like that. I've never had any issues with that. Um, but yeah, I recommend this. I really do. It, I, I'm not the biggest N64 fan. So I didn't want to go out the way and spend the money for like oh, getting a game. Because the N64 is really hard to emulate. Because you can get on Raspberry Pis and everything else. But the frame rates are rubbish. The sounds rubbish. Or just don't run at all. So to explore some of the library on this. And some of the games that I missed out on. Um, it's great. It's great fun. So yeah I, I probably will I'll, I'll do, I will do a separate video of this just going through what games are actually on here uh, and, and may even do a uh, a different video of my opinion my first impressions on N64 games because as much as we laugh and joke about it um, I'd never give it a fair chance and I really should may have to get, a di get myself a different pad because this pad oh, winds me up I just I can't get on with this I think that's where half my problem lies. So, yeah, let's see if this camera is actually any good. What pickups have you had lately? Uh, you managed to get anything at all? Um, yeah, so I'm going to... Hopefully this works. And, guys, I'll speak to you again soon. Look after yourself and everyone. Stay safe. Bye.